Hello guys, welcome back. So now here in this session, I'll explain SAP Activate Methodology. Now, uh, the question is, what is this Activate Methodology or what is the need of Activate Methodology, guys? Now, so let me explain here in details. So we all know that before Activate met Methodology, ASAP Methodology was being, you know, was uh, being used, right, for SAP implementations isn't it whenever we have to implement any project let's suppose uh, i quoted the example of tata motor itself right so whatever implementations are happening in that we are going to use asap we were using asap methodology right for you but here for s4 ana now a new methodology came that is called activate methodology uh, which is going to be used at the place of asap methodology right now asap methodology i have already explained in details but generally what happened now if i say like activate activate methodology what is the use of this what is the need of this so of course in asap methodology we had certain pen points okay certain challenges were there so that is why this new methodology was introduced by sap if you talk about the pen points challenges like see i'll tell you one thing guys take example of blueprint phase itself in blueprint phase itself we are having multiple hurdles, 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 or you can say challenges, right? If you talk about blueprint phase, we spend almost two, three months, two, um, two months or three months in this blueprint phase itself, right? What for? First of all, we need to understand their processes, whatever the activities are being performed by those people in their legacy system, right? So we need to see, we need to observe, we need to, uh, what to say, uh, understand those things and all. So this is called Agis process. Now, based on that, again, to be is going to be prepared. We are going to explain them that these are the things which is deliverable from our side, isn't it? Okay, again, it takes time. Uh, second thing is like, whatever the discussions are happening here in blueprint phase, all the discussions are theoretical discussions, right? If you explain something like, say, for example, uh, if you say how the P2P, uh, you know, like scenario is going to work in SAP, right? So theoretically only we can explain that look at here now, first of all, PO will be created. Then with reference to PO, goods receipt will be posted. With reference to same PO, invoice receipt will be posted. And then finally payment will be posted, right? So these all are theoretical discussions. Here, you as a consultant, when you explain something, you guys are able to visualize because you know this practically multiple time. Uh, you have already done, done the configurations. You have already performed the testing several times. So for you guys, there is no problem. You guys will be able to, you know, like visualize these things and all. But what about the client? Are they able to visualize the same thing? Not at all, because they are not at all expert of SAP. They don't have any exposure of SAP. They are using some different ERP, isn't it? So that is why I said like all the, the theoretical discussions are happening in Blueprint. That yes, we will deliver this, we will deliver that. But the thing is, there is no any kind of, from customer side, there is no touch and feel. Touch and feel in the sense like you know very well that uh, when, when you are going to pur pur purchase something, first of all, you'll be touching that, you'll be feeling, you'll be checking each, each and everything. But here in SAP, they don't have any idea about that. Simply, we have explained something. Whether they understood or not, that doesn't matter. Ultimately, uh, the blueprint phase must be finished and sign off. Of course, we have to take the sign off and all during sign off also. Challenges are there, right? Multiple questions will be there from client because all the discussions are happening like it's a theoretical discussion, as I said, right? Now, generally what happened here in Activate, activate Methodology, what is happening, guys? In Activate Methodology, SAP system will be ready from day one for the SAP consultant, right? So here, what is happening? Consultant is going to conduct multiple workshops, right? When I say SAP system, it means I'm talking about the trial version okay which is also called sandbox right now here i said that the consultant will conduct multiple workshop so what is the meaning of workshop right now workshop means explaining the end-to-end -end scenario practically to the customer okay 
say for example i quoted like example of p2p itself so p2p earlier simply we have explained theoretically right now what is happening guys consultant can so practically that look, look at here this is how the po is going to be created with reference to po this is how we can post the goods receipt right with reference to this same po this is how the invoice receipt is going to be posted and then finally payment will be payment will be posted and open item will be cleared so now here the end user will be having a, a clear picture right because they have seen uh, these things uh, what to say practically right so this is what the benefit right this workshop is called fit gap analysis right and what is happening here we are showing since like we are showing this end to end scenario to the customer now the question is how to so this end to end scenario to the customer right so again for this one here sap has provided best practice system right where all the configurations are already done whatever or whichever uh, you know required master data are there that is also already created so here we just need to process the end user activities that's it in the sense ready made things are there you just need to carry out the test right or else you have to run this uh, whatever like let's suppose if i say p2p scenario we can execute that right because everything are already given by sap company codes are also there required master data is also available right now so guys uh, here the question is where to like process these all end user activity so i have already said earlier that sap has given a trial version also right so here what is happening guys we can activate the best practice based on the country okay best practices best practices can be you know what to say activated now so i'll tell you guys sap has given sap has provided the best practice system here as i said like the configurations are already done isn't it so country wise this best practice practices can be activated and there we can perform whatever this testings are there that can be done it's not testing we can say it's a kind of showing the things practically to the client right now see uh, even sap has given the best practice document also like let's suppose as i said like which company codes uh, which company code you have to use what all the available master data are there right so these all things for these all things even documents are also available that easily can be available that usually can be done easily can be downloaded from best practice explorer right now so here we show end to end process practically and ask the customers or client feedback if customer says in the sense client says that yes it is okay it means what is happening it is fitting in the business requirement and if customer says no some changes are required that is considered as gap that is why i said it is called fit gap analysis right or else also it is also called fit to standard analysis both are same guys right now so let's have a look here on this activate methodology pages what all the phases are there in this activate methodology this is very similar to asap methodology here guys slight differences are there that i have already explained now let's have a look here so when you see sap activate methodology look at here now starting from discover prepare explore realize deploy and run so generally if we talk about the phases right so for activate methodology also we are having five phases itself you can exclude this discover right here our involvement our involvement is not there consultant is not involved here in discover generally your involvement is starting from prepare explore realize deploy and run this discover means here the customer is going to explore the things right that is why sap activate methodology how many phases are there prepare explore realize deploy and run just like asap methodology itself now let's have a look here so if we talk about the discover discover what happened discover phase generally so this is the phase where the client or customer realize that there is a need for a solution to satisfy their business pain points let's suppose they are using a different erp they are not satisfied with that they want to 
switch for some bigger platform right so in that case of course they are going to explore the options isn't it now let's suppose they found sap so here now what is happening so they will start looking out for the right solutions of course like let's suppose they opted sap and all so here what is happening in this phase customer may apply for a free trial solution if required to check out what the features and functionality this discover phase will help the client to consider and experience sap s4 hana before starting a project to implement right before starting directly this implementations and all they are having they at least they can explore something isn't it so this is what the benefit here now by the end of this phase customer finalize to go ahead with sap solutions and they will move to the next phase where the actual implementations life cycle started right i said like next phase means what look at here so after discover we are having prepare so now what i have written here so the next phase isn't it they will move out the next phase where the actual implementations life cycle is started i also said the same thing the actual implementations life uh, cycle is starting from here prepare phase onwards isn't it so that is why i said like we can consider five phases okay of course i have seen people are saying six phases that's i'm not saying that they are wrong but generally what happened discover phase means our involvement is not there like mostly uh, users are in the sense customer or client involvement is there okay so prepare onwards actual phase is going to be started even like if you talk about asap methodology there also the same thing is there five phases are there right so let's have a look here in prepare phase the first phase so it is just like the project preparations right in asap methodology what is happening project preparation phase is there so whatever activities are being done over there the same activities are being done even in prepare phase also the only one addition is there that is called that is arranging the demo server to carry out the workshop right this is what the addition is there apart from this like of course the project is initiated from this phase itself right define the project uh, what is a plan project team setup will be there identifying identifying like whoever like from client side certain business process owner will be there or bpo uh, that is bpo or like ctm whatever you say right so those things these activities are taking place in the sense almost whatever activities are taking place in project preparation phase the same thing is happening here the addition is there that we have to arrange the demo server to carry out the workshop now <clears throat> if you talk about explore phase explore phase means what is happening guys this is just like blueprint phase itself but here what happened in blue blueprint phase now what is happening in blueprint phase we are having discussion with the client as i said all the theoretical discussions will be happening uh, whatever things are there but now here what is happening guys here fit gap workshop will be conducted right in the sense practically we are showing the scenarios and all and we are taking the consent from client we are taking their acceptance from client okay so this is what is happening here in explore phase now the next phase is called realize phase realize phase means what is happening it is just like the realization phase realization phase of asap methodology right so in realize phase what is happening of course the configurations will be started isn't it so here what is happening guys the configurations will be started here one differences are there generally what happened in realization phase in asap methodology mostly the consultant will involved in every configurations and all but here what is happening now we become more open and even we involve the users on day to day basis for their regular feedback so what is happening here guys the unit test become very simple and easy right because the uh, whoever like business process owner is there or so called like core team member is there right they are very much familiar with the things and all so it will be the testing part is going to be quite easy right and we are getting like a what is a green signal very easily to proceed further to move further right so testing i have written here whatever the testings are there that is also going to be carried out here now deploy deploy phase deploy phase means same as final preparations whatever activity we have performed in final preparations the same final preparation of asap methodology when you guys are watching this video i hope that you have a perfect idea about asap methodology earlier because i have already explained this right already explained this 
so asap methodology so whatever like in asap methodology final preparation phase is there whatever activities are happening like let's suppose cutover activity cutover activity means data migrations right so it happen exactly at the end part end part means like when the project is about to end we are about to proceed for go live right at that point of time itself the cutover activity in the sense data migration activity happen if any trainings are required for the users of course the training also will be also will be conducted whatever the user manuals are there that can be prepared that can be hand over to the you know client so these all things are taking place here in deploy phase itself right at the very end of deploy phase what is happening guys the go live is going to happen so sometimes i have seen the people are specifying the go live in this deploy phase itself but again we can keep here in run run means what is happening go live and support for the ongoing operation so this is what is happening again if you talk about this activate methodology this is also quite similar to asap methodology itself except few changes are there right earlier we uh, had like most of the things like theoretical as i said like uh, you know discussions and everything are happening theoretically the practical things right if you talk about the sap server the sap server is going to be ready here in realize you know in the sense realization phase on what's the configurations and other things are going to be started of course before that sandbox will be ready just for the uh, testing purposes like consultant before starting this configurations and all they need uh, uh, what to say a dummy server right uh, staging so it is also called staging server so that will be ready for the consultant and they will do some uh, kind of uh, you know hands on what is a practice you can say or configurations in that isn't it so that was happening in asap but generally what is happening the actual configurations were starting from realization phase onwards here also the configurations are starting from realization phase onwards itself but now we are having the practically like we are having a practical interaction with the client isn't it so this is what the major difference is here in asap methodology and activate methodology activate methodology is pretty much flexible say for example uh, client is like if you talk about like let's suppose client is agree with whatever like we have shown with 90% of these all things and all and in 10% they want like okay certain developments are required so even we can we can plan for early go live also that it's okay this 90% if you are uh, agree with this one if you said like some changes are required so even after go live also once we uh, what to say move to the support phase and all there also this development can be done and this can be what to say one by one it can be uh, what to say hand over to the client so lots of flexibilities are there here here in uh, this activate methodology guys compared to asap methodology so that's all about this activate methodology and that's all here in this session guys